are you feeling that things are heating up things are boiling you're standing on one foot <laughs> is there some area or are there two areas in your life or at least one area is there something in your life where you understand that it's not happening with where you are which means you know where you need to go but you're still not there and you know that unless you do something radically different it won't materialize is there some area where you're feeling like this or am i the only one <laughs> all right so if you are feeling like this then let me tell you you're not alone because saturn has now entered purva bhadra pada nakshatra and he will be there for quite some time please write it down in the comments till when saturn will be in this nakshatra very 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 long transit okay <clears throat> but what is important is to understand that since this transit has started now this transit has i mean saturn has actually entered now so now you will kind of you know start seeing these results you know you will now when i say results it doesn't mean you see some outcome but the result means whenever the planet has entered this nakshatra then those circumstances will get activated okay that is what i mean by results it does not mean something will be completed okay maybe something is starting that itself means that this nakshatra is uh, starting to give its results so therefore it's very important that we understand what actually this nakshatra is because if you do not understand what this nakshatra is then you cannot understand what what is actually going so at a gross level it's very simple you you want to understand you just see like this uh depending on your ascendant whichever houses saturn rules so wherever capricorn and aquarius falls so those two houses will undergo the flavor of this okay so it's very simple uh, but not as simple so these two houses will experience the flavor so in your life specifically wherever these two uh signs are falling depending on your ascendant your lagna your rising sign you will find yourself in a situation where you are standing on one foot why because purva bhadra pada is related to ajay ek pada who is you know that that dt who is standing in one feet okay and this is a very uh, this is a very uh, should i say bizarre this is one of the most bizarre nakshatras bizarre not in a derogatory sense but it can show things which are completely bizarre which which are completely unconventional non traditional at the same time it can also show things which are very traditional very conven very conventional very orthodox so why do i say this nakshatra has bizarre traits because there are extremities which means see what happens when you are standing on one foot is difficult to balance right so what can happen during this transit is that you may find yourself trying to trying to you know matching yourself trying to bring yourself in terms with extremes in life so when this happens what what actually you need to do is you have to understand that there will be certain trade offs and there will be certain um, there there will be certain things which you have to give up so why why are you facing this confusion because see now you are in this place you know you need to go there but you have to walk and you you don't have to walk you have to give up certain things because see if you want to understand the nakshatras don't just understand one nakshatra individually it is okay not bad nothing wrong in doing that but try to understand the progression of nakshatras then actually you will know what exactly this particular nakshatra is and only then you can know what what this planet will do in this nakshatra okay so for example after purva bhadra pada we have uttar bhadra pada nakshatra right so it's very important that you understand this so from so first we have you know dhanishtha nakshatra then we have satabhisha nakshatra and then we have purva bhadra pada nakshatra so so if you want to understand purva bhadra pada and what saturn does in purva bhadra pada you have to 
kind of understand a bit what Satavisha Nakshatra is. Because whenever a planet enters a particular Nakshatra, new Nakshatra, what happens is the previous Nakshatra's hangover is also there. Now when I say hangover, I, I mean that certain things uh, initially when now Saturn has entered Pura Bhadrapada, it might happen that certain things related to Satavisha you are still trying to solve and you know now it's kind of beginning to solve, but uh, still it has not solved yet. It can happen. But at the same time, because the Nakshatra trans the transit has already happened in Purva Bhadrapada, so you will see now that old themes are closing. And now you will see new, new things are going to begin. Okay. You may not see it fructifying at a gross level, but the work has started. <laughs> So many, many times uh, you may find now, you know, Capricorn Ascendants or Aquarius Ascendants, you know, they may be telling you, okay, now I have some surgery which is going to be there, you know, I have this problem, that problem. Hmm. Why? Because uh, Shatabhisha Nakshatra is a Nakshatra of healing. Okay, uh, Shatabhisha is another very bizarre <laughs> Nakshatra because again, it has contradictory things together it has addictions you know drugs drinking alcohol depression and all this and it also has healing okay or or rather if i put it this way because there is disease from bad habits that is why there is healing okay <laughs> so so when saturn was in chatavisha you might have felt that there is certain thing that is required to heal so, for example, if your seventh lord uh, is Saturn, then you might have felt, you know, something in your marriage needs healing. So, either your marriage or maybe your spouse needs healing, but I don't believe that, you know, like seventh lord is in Shatavisha, so your spouse. It can be literally your marriage, but in some cases, it can also be that your spouse literally has to go through some healing or some surgery. <clears throat> but nonetheless... Even if you are not Capricorn or Leo, because for Capricorn or Leo, you know, Saturn is the seventh lord. So even if you're not that, you know, it, it can be for any ascendant. So fifth house, you know, your relationship with your children may require some healing. Or tenth lord, you know, uh, some, some healing required in your profession, okay? So now when I say healing, I don't just mean physical healing. Healing can also mean, you know, some clarity is required, some... <clears throat> Um, clarity of thought and action in, in both the both the sense it is required because if there is no clarity there is no question of healing so it might have happened that when Saturn was in Chatavisha you experienced that you need healing or you need clarity in some area of your life and then now as Saturn has entered Purva Bhadrapada what happens is now you realize that healing will not come for free Healing will come, but it will come at a cost, okay? So, now what is that cost? That cost is the cost of your desires, which means, as in India, you know, in uh, traditional cultures, if you see, they always say that whenever you go to a holy place, you know, you should always give up something, okay? Give up something which you like. <laughs> see, it's not very difficult to give up things, you know, okay? Suppose mm, I say, you know, I I don't like certain things and I say, oh, yeah, yeah, I, I give it up, you know. But if I say, no, I like this and I'm very much obsessed with this and then I say, I give up, oh, that's a big thing. Why do they say? Because the when you go to a particular holy place, what happens is you you are expected to go there and surcharge yourself with uh, spiritual potency and energy. But in your consciousness, if there is already an overload of material desires, you know, like, oh, I want this, 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 that, ye chai, ye chai, then what happens is, even if you want, you cannot uh, download. <laughs> okay, you cannot download uh, the spiritual energy into your consciousness. That's not possible because your brain is log jammed. Okay? Your consciousness is not free. So if your consciousness is not free, you cannot be free. So then what happens is, the Acharyas explain, okay, give up something. Okay, okay, you like this. So, for example, if you go to Vrindavan, they say, you know, 
leave your chappals, your shoes and all this. Walk barefoot always, okay? So, <clears throat> when you do that, what happens is you become light, okay? Now the thing about, you know, luxury, comfort, this is gone, okay? So, now I can be lightheaded or eat once in a day. If you are eating three times, eat two times. If you are eating two times, eat only one time, okay? And don't overindulge in, you know, sweets or all this, you know, once in a while, it's okay. <laughs> but But not too much. So, then what happens is... You become light and then you can download all uh, the spiritual uh, potency that is there in the dham. So similarly, something similar will happen with Purva Bhadarpada Nakshatra also. And especially because Saturn is there. Saturn represents hardships and uh, decisions that you need to take even if you don't like. Okay, so if you are in a position, if you are in a place in your life where you see that there is a mountain that you need to climb. Well, then then the first thing you need to understand is that that mountain will always be there. You know, you cannot, you cannot just, uh, you know, you cannot just say that, you know, uh, I will not just walk, you know, that's not possible, okay? So it is very important that if you feel there is a heavy, daunting task in front of you, then understand that, you have to do it because once you do, then what happens? Next, Uttar Bhadrapada Nakshatra is there. Uttar Bhadrapada is like, I'll tell you what Uttar Bhadrapada is. Imagine you are walking, you are walking the Mount Everest. Climbing the Mount Everest is like Purva Bhadrapada. And once you reach the top, you are like in Uttar Bhadrapada. So what happens when you reach the top, mountain top? You are... You are, you are looking at everything, you know, you, everything appears so small, small, not in a derogatory sense, you know, in sense of inferiority. But, you know, you look at yourself, you know, oh, you are making this travel. Uh, yeah, it was painful. Yeah, it happened. And then now you are there. Finally, nothing matters. <laughs> so when Saturn enters Uttar Bhadrapada, please write in the comments when you will enter Uttar Bhadrapada then you will actually feel now I am relieved. I am in this mountain top. And after Uttra Bhadrapada, we have the nakshatra of Revati, which is the nakshatra of letting go. You are letting go of the position also. You are letting go of everything. It's emancipation, salvation, mukti. All right. Because that is the last nakshatra. There is nothing beyond. <laughs> so... <clears throat> Uttar Bhadrapada is the realization, it's the divinity that you feel when you are finally somewhere. It's that satisfaction which you get, okay? And then Revati Nakshatra is letting go of that satisfaction also, or rather letting go of that need to be satisfied, okay? But Purva Bhadrapada is, is work, <laughs> So you, you got to work, man, you got to work, lady. <laughs> there's no scope, there's no there's no escape. So you will have to make hard choices. You might have to cut down on some food that you are eating. You might have to cut down on some habits. You might have to cut down on people, some friends, family members, relationships. You might have to sever them for your benefit. And if you don't do this, then what will happen is, you will perpetually stay where you are because you cannot walk the top of the mountain. You cannot reach the top without, without clearing some of your baggage. Okay, so check what baggage do you have in your shoulders. Is that baggage helping you or are you just, you know, hovering around out of attachments? And if that is where you are, that is who you are, then please understand that that is not good. Okay, so do your best. Leave the rest to God, but sacrifice is the need of the hour and there is no compromise with this. Okay, you must sacrifice something. It can be something small or something big or it can be something very major. Okay, but you have to pay the price. No pain, no gain. All right. And this is further more reinstantiated because I will repeat, there's no other planet other than Saturn who is transiting in this nakshatra. So, the requirement of sacrifice is actually even more, okay? So, if you if you feel that you know what you should do, then don't stop. Implement it as soon as possible, all right? 
Thank you so much for your patience. If you want a personalized consultation from me regarding your horoscope, please go to my website down in the description section. God is there with you all the time. Just look to him and you'll find him. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're new and hit the thumbs up if you are enjoying the content. Okay. See you soon.